Discord. It's that meme-tastic piece of messaging software that everyone seems to be using these days. And they've got a great personality on Twitter too. But how accessible is it? Well, I send out my crack team of developers and blind people to find out. No, actually, I just kind of tested out each app individually. Welcome to Random Access Review. So then, the first Discord app I am going to show you accessibility-wise is, somewhat obviously because of the screen, the Discord app for iOS. And this is an iPad, so it works quite well because I like Discord on a bigger screen. And here we go. So, I will show you around. And obviously it just looks like regular Discord, you know, you can come here and get your direct messages and things like that. And all of these names and stuff are accessible. Uh, if we come into a server, so I'll come into, in fact, this is something to talk about. These servers, if you have an icon, if you have a custom icon applied, as you can see, they will not uh, speak the name of them. They will only speak how many unread notifications you have. But if you haven't set an icon, like VC here, VIP Central, it will say VC and you can get an idea as to what it is. So your server icons are all down the left and then just to the right of that, are all your channels. Now I'm going to hop into the announcements channel in VIP Central, by the way. If you haven't seen VIP Central, then join it. It's in my about section of the YouTube page if you're on mobile. And if you're on desktop, it's a little icon to the right of the header in YouTube. Anyway, you can see that messages. You can see that messages are fully accessible, and if you swipe left one, it tells you who sent the message and what date it was sent on. Very similar experience to iMessage, except the message text itself is a separate object. And you can obviously, I'm an admin, so I can type in this channel, but uh, you can easily type in here. Braille screen input even works, which is really nice. And send button works and everything. Uh, I found that the attach image button, for whatever reason, unless I'm doing it wrong, which I might be, isn't accessible. But what you can do is go into the Photos app and click Share and click Discord and then go from there. And I have done that before. Um, and most of this is accessible. Now you can see there's a lot of icons up here. A search and channel sidebar. These, I had to add custom labels to. They were just blank buttons. They do work. You can activate them. You know, this, this works. Things like that. Search button also works. And I can press cancel. But I did have to give these custom labels. I had to click them, find out what they were, and then give them labels. Uh, these were just blank buttons. The same goes for... If you come down here to where your username is, there's about five buttons after it that don't have labels. They are clickable. Like if I click this, it will open up search again. And if I click this, we'll get notifications, I believe. Yeah. But they're not labeled, so you have to label those yourself manually. Likewise, there's a button to the left of the username that lets you set your status. I'm going to say online. online. And that is not labelled either. But these are actually issues that can be relatively easily fixed just by double clicking on them, finding out what they are, and then labelling them yourself with voiceover if you don't know how to do that. You put your voiceover cursor on what you want to label, and then you double tap and hold with two fingers. Alert. And you'll get this box, and I can label it as set status. Just did that with Braille screen input, and now it is now a button that I can click, and it's labelled, because I labelled it myself. Other than that, pretty much everything is accessible. If you want to do something with the channel, like if you want to tap and hold on it, it works. Uh, if you want to click on the server button, you can get the server settings and things like that. And in fact, if we come into server settings and we go into something like... Uh, where is it? Roles. We've got all these roles and we can change settings in them. Now, one thing to point out is if you press edit here, and you want to reorder these, as far as I'm aware... 
Yeah, it doesn't like it if you do it with voiceover. You can't reorder these with voiceover, you'll either have to get someone else to do it, or you'll have to, if you've got enough sight, you can turn voiceover off and do it manually, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that's that's a little bug, but other than that, it's pretty good. The same goes with channels, if you want to reorder channels, you can't really do that, because it just wants to tap and hold on them and get you the settings and things, and you can't put them in sections this way. You can if you go into, let's say we go here, and we go to edit channel. You can see we're in the off-topic channel and we can change that. However, it is not possible to just drag it in there. Here's another bug I'd like to point out. You can see we're in the settings page. If I... You'll notice it's reading things that aren't actually on the screen. And now if you get rid of this bit, if you close this dialogue, you will notice they are actually on screen here, like this heading. So... For some bizarre reason, when you're in another page that covers this, like, say, notifications, the content shows through from other places in the user interface. And that's a little really annoying bug because, like, if you just start reading from the top, for example, it starts reading all of your servers and things which aren't even on the screen. You can't click them. So if you've got no sight, this might actually be kind of hard. I know I have a bit of sight, so... It's a little bit easier for me because I can tell what type of dialogue box is open and things. But other than that, you know, Discord's pretty accessible. I should mention if we go into a server such as... Monday Street and we go into... Well, here's one right here. I'm sure Billy will be fine with me uh, doing this. If I come into general... Trying to find an image. There's an image. It tells you the who sent it and when it was sent, but it doesn't say it was an image, and if you swipe right one, you'll get to focus on the image, I think. But, well, first of all, it then gets stuck. You can't go forwards after then for some bizarre reason. And second of all, it doesn't tell you that it's an image, which is kind of interesting. But anyway... That'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you disliked it, then you know what to do. And you can leave a comment to tell me why. If your feelings are more complicated, you can leave a comment anyway. Please subscribe if you want to see this content daily. I'll be posting more videos about other Discord apps, such as on the Mac, and the web app, and the Windows app. They've all got different varying levels of accessibility. So, I'll see you next time. Peace.